Welcome to the bank gas video of exercise 14 of the module FAR filters. Consider again the cascaded connection of two LTI systems. For this exercise, system 1 is a first order difference filter described by the difference equation v of n is equal to x of n minus xn minus 1 and system 2 is described as an impulse response h of n which is equal to the unit step function n minus the unit step function shifted 10 in time. Determine the impulse response h of n of the overall cascaded system. So in this exercise what we actually have is we have a filter with impulse response h of n, let's say h of n1, and a filter h2n. And what we can do is we can replace these two filters by simply one filter, hn. The impulse response which makes them equal is in the case that h of n is equal to the convolution sum of h1n, so convolution h2n. So let's first find the, the impulse responses of our first and second system. Of system 1, our impulse response h1 of n is, can be described for an input which is equal to a delta pulse. So we have delta n minus delta n minus 1. Our second system has an impulse response which actually exists or contains uh, unit step functions. What we can do is to, we can rewrite this as delta pulses. So let's assume that we have the unit step function. So starting at, so let's draw this one. It starts at n is 1, so 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc, etc. So this is our 10 mark, let's say. And let's also draw this one. However, this one is negated. So it starts this time at 10 and is negative. And continues on forever, and so does the red one. So if we were to add these signals, what we would end up with is just one signal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then at position 10, these two signals will cancel each other out. So afterwards, it's just zeros. So we can also rewrite our impulse response h2n as delta n plus delta n minus 1 all the way up to delta n minus 9, since at position 9, this is the last position where we have a delta pulse. So now let's start off with calculating the overall impulse response of the total system. So as we said before, it was the convolution sum between the first system, the impulse response of the first system and the impulse response of the second system which we can calculate as the summation of k is equal to 0 up to 1 since our impulse response of a1 exists only at, out of two inputs so yes h1 k multiplied with h n minus k and if we were to write this out for the case that I'll write uh, the case that k is equal to 0 in red so we have h1 0 h2 n minus 0 and the case that k is equal to 1 I'll write in green so we have h1 1 and h2 n minus 1 so this gives us the following equation at the moment h1 uh, at the moment n is 0, for h1 this is equal to 1. So we have 1 times h2 n. So we have simply h2, so delta n is delta n minus 1 all the way up to delta n min minus 9. At the moment h1 uh, 
at the moment n is that n is equal to one for h1, the value of h1 is equal to minus one. So f is minus multiplied with h2 and minus one, which is h2 simply shifting to one in time. So this time we'll start off with delta n minus one all the way up to delta n minus 9 and since we have shifted it in time we will also have to add delta n minus 10 so if we were now to subtract the second part of the first part we would only be left off with delta n so this one since this uh, does not cancel out and from then on all our factors will cancel out so we only have to subtract and we also have to subtract delta n minus 10 so minus delta n minus 10 so this is the total impulse response of our system for exercise b we have to obtain a difference equation which relates y of n to x of n if we already have the impulse response it's quite easy because y of n is then simply equal to x of n minus xn minus 10.